Alright guys, clearly I don't understand this game, because I got a Scimitar Swallow battle here. You can see significantly outnumbered. Quite a bit. So, I'm like, what the hell? This was an empty province. I go down here, it still says free from enemy military units. So, I'm, I'm very confused. Like, I thought... Maybe I'm mistaken here, but I thought when you have an army in an adjacent province, you can see... Like here, I can see that there's an army in Shatterspine. Or I can see that there's a siege here, and I can see armies for Relier over here. And this one, it says... Oh, well that that's scried, so never mind. Hold on. Okay, maybe that's why. Nope, this is not being scried on. Okay, so we got empty, empty. Empty. Okay, right? I uh, That's being scried, too. Okay, so I, I'm very confused, obviously. Anyway, this says it's free from military units. To me, that means no units in it. But you just saw a massive province defense. So, very confused. This right here, the fact that this is a non-scried province, and I can see the forces there, suggests to me that I should also be able to see here that they have province defense set up. But I don't know. I'm very confused, obviously. Uh, maybe I don't understand this game as well as I thought I did. Anyway, uh, I think this is going to be it for me. You can see there's a pretty large army here. I've set up the entire force to patrol. Uh, I don't think I can stop any of this stuff he's got. I do have uh, quite a bit casting like solar rays and those herald lances at least. Uh, assuming he even attacks me. is Might actually come into handy, which will be nice. He's got Wyverns, Ancient Ones, Sentinels, which I know I can't stop, uh, and a Decrepit. I don't know what a Decrepit is. I meant to look that up and I forgot, so that'll be interesting to see. But, I don't know. I'm hoping I can do some damage at least. I have uh, 10 or 11 Astrologers as Communion Masters casting control, so I'm hoping to at least take out a lot of those Sentinels. And then, uh, I... I Felt like I had too many masters and not enough slaves, so I actually put like four of our astrologers on communion master. I do believe that the higher level in in astral helps reduce the uh, fatigue that your communion gets, but I don't I don't know how the numbers work exactly. Um, or he could just go here and then to my capital. So I'm not sure what what his route is going to be. I think he could just kill me at Greybeard. That's pretty much it for me. And then down here he's got. Uh, a whole bunch of Sentinels. I believe he had 36 when he hit Urklos. And I don't have anything in this province that can hit those Sentinels at all. I don't have any communions or uh, control or anything to that effect. So they're pretty much screwed. I I guess I could run them back up to Arcocephaly. But it, it, honestly, at this point, guys, I'm kind of looking to uh, bow out. So I'm just hoping to do as much damage as I can at this point. And um, that's pretty much it for the turn. I think... I think I'm going to probably skip until the last few battles. And then moving forward from there, I'm going to see if people will send me their uh, turns so that they can kind of show the battles that are going on. I, From what I heard, uh, Abyssia told me that TNCI hit, hit, hit her at, I think, Asphodel. Or no, I'm sorry, it was Ashdod. Which I'm not sure where that's at off the top of my mind. But apparently TNCI is doing pretty well. They got a pretty large army. Uh, Bissia, I know, is a really good player, so I think that she's going to be really strong. And I think Marinon is still the largest army in the game, though he's apparently afraid of Agartha. I'll be really interested to see how that goes. I think that he was... My only thought was that he was going for a throne victory. He's got two, three, four points, but you need ten. So he's not anywhere near that. I, I'll be interested to see how that turns out, because uh, we did try to pull him into this battle... And I think that the only way we could beat, that Agartha can be beaten at this point, was for three armies to fight him. And even then, I don't know if it could be done. So, uh, obviously very strong, but I don't know what Marinon's capable of. So, uh, I do believe they have the Astral, and I think that's, that is key. I just don't know how to put it to use. So, uh, that's pretty much it for this turn. I think... I'm hoping we'll see a big battle, and at least maybe I'll go out with a bang or something. But uh, I don't know. That remains to be seen. And uh, that's pretty much it.
All right, guys, I'm pretty sure this is going to be my demise. Uh, we have a pretty significant group of Agarthans attacking us. Here's a look at their forces. And this is nuts to me. I am blown away by these units. Uh, of course, the Shargard are, are good in their own right. And these Defender of the Hall is not, not too shabby either. Uh, here's a summon that they've been massing. When I saw these at the capital, I was planning on casting Wolven Winter. Assuming I could even get to his capital, I was going to cast Wolven Winter on it a couple times to try to negate their fire power. Uh, I believe that would have reduced the fire shield and the heat ability. Uh, heat is more intense in Hotlands, yeah, so it would have weakened them somehow. 17 hit points, 8 protection, magic resistance 14. And then, it, of course, they got that fire shield, so any units attacking it are going to get just totally uh, crushed by it. What kind of movement do they have? 11. So pretty much like a normal unit. And then he's looking at like, what, maybe 10 or 15 golem crafters. And one of these Oracle of the Ancients. Here's God, though. We haven't seen this yet. Tree Lord Staff. He's got Nature 11. I didn't even know you could do that. So he came in Nature 9, Earth 5, 4 because of the Earth Boots. I did not know you could go over 10. That's pretty awesome. Uh, all this regeneration, 216 hit points, and I believe this is my dominion, too. So that's uh, pretty crazy. Well, hold on, we can look at the base. 135 base. Yeah, 108 dominion penalty from being in my dominion. How the fuck does that math work out? <laughs> 135 plus 27 minus 108, current hit points 216. Huh. I don't even understand that, guys. I don't even understand it. Okay. So that's that battle. Over here, uh, Marinon has joined the party and killed some golem crafters. So we have a bunch of witch hunters. Boy, I don't know what Marinon could do in this situation. They do have Astral. I'm assuming they're using the shamans to commune with the, winter, the witch hunters, if I had to guess. Let's see if we can check that out. I hope to, when I get knocked out, maybe get some files from the other players and keep the this whole thing going. Because I'm would i really interested to see how this turns out with Agartha. There's the fire. Yeah, con yeah, so they made these slaves. Okay. They made those slaves and then they made the rest. Iron Bane, what is that? Okay, and then we got the Greybeard Peaks. I put my army on research because I at this point I, I messaged Pangea and I was like I'm just gonna try to hold them as long as I can look at these units this living mercury 62 hit points again slash blunt pierce resistant poison cloud mindless and 18 in magic resistance guys what do you do against this umbrals 16 in magic resistance 68 hit points Agartha is disgusting, guys. Disgusting. I mean, I, I've play tested my setup of control against these Sentinels. They have the thirteen magic resistance, and it, it didn't work very well, to be honest. It it actually worked pretty crappily. So against these units, eighteen, worthless, absolutely worthless. I don't know what you do to counter this stuff. I started working towards opposition because I figured I could cast that pretty much the entire battle. These are e ethereal, too. <laughs> why not? I mean, why not? Uh, and then they broke my gate in the first turn, which really doesn't surprise me. I just don't have enough units. Uh, so we're going. I think this is going to be it. I have everybody communed, casting control. It's the best I got. I'm not sure what else to do. Three Banes. They got the... Uh, Elf Banes, so if they manage to get lucky and go through that magic resistance, it'll kill the unit. And our god, I think Fog Warriors is absolutely worthless at this point, to be honest. But I'm going to try this Storm. Can we even do this? I wanted to see this Storm in Wrathful Skies. Let's see. Three. Yeah, that's six total air gems, and he's level seven. So I'm kind of curious. We might not have enough fatigue uh, for that. But uh, I'm kind of curious to see it in action if it works out. You know, I wanted to cast on this Water Mage. I wanted to use, like, Rain. But he doesn't have the Flame units over there. So 
army moving up here. I pretty much gave up for Gofell. I told Pangea to take Goldraxos in Ashwater, uh, but Pan uh, Agartha actually decided to hit him. So now he's coming in uh, from the backfield on Pangea. Pretty brutal. I think what I foresee happening, he takes me out of Greybeard this turn, heads up. He's got this massive army that can just move right up through uh, Satissa's mainland. Comes up into here. This army is pretty much indestructible. I mean, they have... Uh, I'm sorry, wrong one. I don't have vision on that. But this is um, a handful of Sentinels. They just got like 30 of them in there. I don't think Pangea has anything to take them out. If anybody has anything to take them out. I'm really like mind-boggled by those units. So anyway, uh, next turn we'll see the battle. I'll end it up. I think that I'll do a post video where I'm going to kind of talk about where I blew this big time. And I, I have a lot of ideas as to why this went so poorly for me. And then, you know, open it up to discussion. And like I said, I'm hoping to be able to maybe get some turn files from other players so that we can keep, uh, keep this, you know, keep it going. Get an idea as to how it ends up. All right, this is it. The battle at Greybeard Peaks. We are going in. That was a really prolonged darkness. Okay, let's take a look at the sides here. I am completely confident. Uh, I would take one Arcocephalian over ten Agarthans any day of the week. Let's look at what they have. Uh, the Ethereal units obviously going to go through the walls. That could be a problem. Living Mercury up front blocking. No surprise there. The Sentinels. Uh, okay, handful of Sentinels. Looks like two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 14, 15, roughly. And uh, a bunch of shard guards. A bunch of sissies right there. Pansies, uh, ancient ones. Uh, pretty much worthless. And yeah, they're all going to die. I'm, I'm confident. Golog the Decrepit. I was curious about this guy. He's got a skull staff and a skull face. Level 6 death. I was really concerned, guys, that he was going to bring a uh, bone... Bone something to the battle where it hits a bone grinding i think it's called anyway there's our forces guys that's it the the, the remaining brave defenders of arcocephaly communion slaves coming out body ethereal paralyze i i really want to get a look and see okay 19 damage on that cold bolt i really want to get a look on uh how our spells do uh, specifically our communions. We do have solar rays coming from Herald Lances. Enlarging. Summon Earth Power. Liquid Body. All these spells going down on our communions. Fog Warriors is up. Voliveris. Did not do a lot of damage. I'm surprised that they... Oh god, our guys went too fast. Curse of Stones. Earthquake. That was the other one I was worried about. So I was... That was the main reason I threw Body Ethereal up, because it does make it harder, I believe, for it, for Earthquake to hit. So you can see our only two or three units took damage from that, from the looks of it. Two guys, three guys. Our elephants, uh, unfortunately, I'm retarded and did not put them on hold, so that could be a problem. Okay. Flyers in the background, wyverns, and... Uh, is this a griffin? It's a manticore. A fear 5 unit with 3 attacks. Solar rays. Coming down, hitting the uh, the umbrals. They're not, they're not blessed, so they do not heal. They do not have regen. But they do have life drain. <laughs> Why not? Oh my god. Uh, Doom coming in. Hopefully giving some bad luck. There's a cursed unit. So, okay. Okay. Anti-magic. Astral healing. Huh. I don't think I set that one up. There's a fire darts coming down doing some pretty good damage. I don't know what's up with the astral healing. I'm looking for the control spells, which I don't expect to be very effective. They have 18 magic resistance on those living mercuries, which is pretty terrifying. Another earthquake. Okay, so I feel like I got that right. I'm not taking damage from that. And I I was expecting that to, to be a primary attack spell for him. So I'm pretty excited about that. 
What are these doing? They're afflicted with limbs. I don't understand why they're going that way. We're going to watch this whole thing, guys. It's going to be a long one, but I've been waiting for a battle. He's got a Bane in here. Bane Lord with a Firebrand and Vine Shield. Okay. Look at that slow-ass volley. It did land. What is up with all the Astral Healing? I feel like... We did not see any control come out. It's like they're casting... There's the Storm, which I set up in order to uh, hopefully see... Uh, this Astral Healing's blowing my mind, guys. Um, in order to see the Wrath of the Skies, I think it's called. The Lightning Spell. I'm very confused by the Astral Healing. I don't know if it's even benefiting me. But, is it that these guys can't be targeted? They're not magic beings, so I couldn't target them, but they should be able to target these guys. That's a Bane Lord, just kidding. Yeah, magic being. So I'm not sure why the control isn't coming out. The elephant's charging in. I've had these elephants since the first turn of the game. Shadow Blast. Didn't do much. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. We're not taking much damage. The shard uh, guards are coming in. And obviously these umbrals are a significant problem. Uh, penumbrals, I think. Nope, umbrals. I think there's a unit called a penumbral too, right? Solar rays. Oh god, this astral healing. I don't know what that's all about. Paralyze. Trying to drop it on the Umbrals, and I, I believe they have like a 17 magic resistance. I'm a little disappointed in the damage from Solar Rays. I thought it would be higher. My main concern right now is we're not going to be able to block the gate, but there's an Umbral getting hacked to pieces. They are ethereal. Paralyzed, though. Okay. Okay. Oh, the elephants charging in. They're going to get hacked and slashed, pierced to death. The, the wyvern's pretty much worthless thanks to the storm. That shadow blast did almost nothing. I'll tell you what, I'm not looking horrible at this point. I don't know how well we'll do against all these ethereal enemies, though. This is pretty scary. And where are our banes? Here's one of them. He's way the hell back here. He does have a levitation ring, so I'm hoping he'll get up there. It's very interesting. Not a single control spell casted. There's the Wrathful Skies. Really curious to see that in effect. I mean, I'm sitting here, we're not fatiguing out on our mages, but I feel like they're not casting the heavy spells that I would have wanted them to, to cast. I don't know, guys. We're doing okay, I think. Doing okay. A lot of units still. Are these routing? They are routing. This could be really bad. I was really worried about this happening. And uh, the elephants routing through our caster line. That was one thing I was very concerned, <laughs> very concerned about. At this point, hopefully they just kind of die off before they get too far in there. Though I expect that Fog Warrior will protect us from that. Let's see. Natural Star. I saw the, the bolt from Wrathful Skies, but I didn't see the damage. Stellar Cascades now coming down. Rage. Paralyze. Guys, we might pull this off. We might pull it off. I don't know. I would like to see more units up there on the northern side. I feel like we have better coverage in the south down here than we do up there. 
Let's take the walls off. These Umbrals, I think, are, are starting to falter in numbers. And there's our Shade Beasts in there. I don't know how much good they're going to do. I was hoping they would go around the back, but... You know, you can only get so much. Now, did that Wrathful Skies hit my own guys? Because it looks like it did. Check the encumbrance on these units. It's only at five. There's a blade wind coming in. And that gift from heaven is just monstrous. Wow. Obviously, I should have probably masked that as much as possible. I thought that it being a... a I don't think it's a magic attack, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's like Earthquake, that it's physical. Though I could be wrong. So I thought it wouldn't be effective against the ethereal units, but I'll have to double check it. These umbrals are not doing that well. I'm surprised. We might pull this off, guys. I wish my units weren't pushing through the gates. And I think that Wrathful Skies is not helping me out. It's hard to tell. I'm about to go back and watch this again. Astral Fires. Look at this. The Umbrals on the south end are almost entirely gone. Gifts from Heaven is monstrous. Wow. So basically, if I manage to survive here, I'm going, like... Mass gifts from heaven. And the umbrals on the south are dead. I've done significantly better than I expected. I'm pretty excited about this. I definitely think that Wrathful Skies has been bad for me, though. Hard to tell. Astral Fire is burning up. I love that spell. I think it's pretty solid. Didn't do much there, though. Okay, a little paralyzed coming out. Good stuff. Guys, I think it's gonna happen. I think I might have pulled this off. I don't know, he's still got the Sentinels, and those things are broken as shit, and we all know that. I really hope that we target this Bane with a... Uh, what have you? With a uh, Solar Raise here soon. Let's take a look at this guy. Again, he's got no healing. He's got eight hit points left. Oh my god, look at this. Keep fighting, men. Hold the line. I'm pretty pumped. I am pretty pumped. Even if I managed to lose at this point, I would still be excited. Look at all these guys back here, though. He's actually got guys guarding Commander. See, I think that's something I need to start doing. Somebody's got to take that Bane out. Yeah, I don't think that Wrathful Skies is doing anything for me. Another Blade Wind. That's one of my favorite spells. I, I think it looks great. Man, Gifts from Heaven. Wow. I don't feel like it's targeting the Sentinels, though. Though it could just be sheer luck. And there goes the Shade Beast. Do they have a magic attack? Because they are doing a lot of damage. They do. They're doing a lot of damage to those Umbrals, I noticed. Ah, oh, if only we had blocked the wall instead of... Instead of pushing through the wall. This would have been even better, I think. Oh my god, the, the casualties are significant, though. And the thing is, is that I don't have the ability to, to recover from this. Assuming we do uh, win the battle. Man, Wrathful Skies, I don't know. Every time I see it, I'm, I'm disappointed. Somebody has got to take out that Banelord. 
The umbrals are gone. There's one left. He is pretty much... He's pretty much dead. There's the route. Oh my god, the hordes of skeletons are coming in. I, I'm really surprised that his units are, are hanging in there. It looks like our longbowmen are out of ammo and they are charging into melee. Oh boy. Could be a last minute turnaround for him. I don't know. Uh-oh. Falling frost coming down, which suggests to me that our stamina is potentially starting to fail. Our fatigue, I should say. This guy here... Oh, yeah. He's fully kitted out. He's got a, a firebrand, lead shield, vine shield, elemental armor, boots of quickness, anti-magic, and a copper arm. <laughs> That's a marble oracle. Oh, my God. That was the worst banishment I've ever seen right there. Missed by a mile. Blade wind. Didn't do much. This is crazy. The longbowmen are in melee, fighting the marble oracle with his firebrand. Good god. Oh, wow. Our casters are, are pretty significantly dead right now, it looks like. I think that he's going to pull it off. Here comes a blade wind of his own. I really feel like Wrathful Skies may have killed the bulk of my casters. I, I'm not certain on that. Our units are routing. Arcocephaly mostly routed. Oh my god. Did, <laughs> did Wrathful Skies lose that battle for me? I really wonder. I'm going to have to watch it again. It definitely didn't do the damage to him that I was hoping for. And those broken-ass sentinels are still there. Still fighting. Best unit in the game. My Bane going up against the Marvel Oracle. Doing some damage. I think it's a lost cause at this point. All these undead coming in. Our casters are pretty much gone. Hmm. Raffle Skies. Bad call on my part. I kind of put it in there. Just like... You know, I wanted to see it in action, and I think it killed me. I really do. I really do. I think we're done with this one. We have no casters left. Our communion is totally broken down. Our elephant is fighting our god here, it appears. I think he's routing into Lanthalus. <laughs> and Lanthalus is all by himself pretty much right now. Refusing to leave, he knows that this is the end of his his reign. Unless he finds a way to win this thing. He's got 98 fatigue, so it's not looking good for him. Wow, I'm really, uh, really disappointed in that Wrathful Skies. I don't know. Shard Guard are routing. It's down to Lanthalus and a handful of units. He's going to the Orb Lightning, but I don't know, guys. I don't think he can hold this off. Finally, that elephant is dead. <laughs> it's fought him forever. This has been a long battle. I'm looking at 17 minutes right now on the clock. Hang in there, buddy. You can do it. You would think that the, the Wrathful Skies here would be huge, but it's really just not hitting the units very much. Oh, there he is, guys. He's still hanging in there. The shockwave. Can he pull it off? Man, shockwave is nasty. I, You know, I, I think even if I do win the battle, I've lost the war, but I'm pretty happy with how well our soldiers have done today. Oh my. God. They might not be able to route him. He's just refusing to go. There's no real way for them to hit him at this point. He's got the regen. The shard guards are routing. Golug the Decrepit is throwing out boatloads of skeletons. And he's not hurt. He's just he's just fighting it out, guys. Speed it up. There's another dead one. 
Cole, baby. You can do it. That heal is pretty big. I wish he had more reinvigoration. Because he doesn't... He can't attack and return. This is insane, guys. If he wins this thing... <laughs> I think he's going to pull it off. He just threw out a Blade Wind. I wonder what made him switch from Blade Wind to Shockwave. Or from Shockwave to Blade Wind, I should say. This is just nuts. If the undead would... If he could get rid of the living units and focus on the undead... I don't know. He's starting to take significantly more damage. He's probably picking up, uh... Afflictions. Yeah, he's got a chest wound and a, a health reduction, which is big. This is insane. Uh-oh, here comes the Marble Oracle coming in. <laughs> Could be really bad for me. This is just nuts, guys. He is going to go down. To, I think this Oracle is going to be able to take him apart. This is absolutely crazy. <laughs> Pretty much every one of our units has been killed. Between me and uh, Agartha. Is this guy taking any damage? He's got 42 health. He does have regeneration, so he's not gonna... He's not gonna die just sitting back there occasionally getting hit by Wrathful Skies. This is nuts. Every unit has routed except for the Sentinel and the Marble Oracle and the Undead. Lanthalus has done it! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, <laughs> that is nuts. That is absolutely insane. Let's look at the casualties. 142 out of 191 dead. The Oracle of the Ancients and the Decrepit did get out of there. 36 Umbrals past uh, Shard Cards 59. Wow. Sentinels all 16. We lost 267 out of 267 units. Even my Titan of Heaven died. Uh, Lanthus apparently passed away some way, somehow there. I don't know why. I guess I didn't win. I thought I won. And I lost. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, that was insane, guys. Um, I think that that's it for me. I'm probably going to look to go AI. It's been fun. And I'm hoping that I can get turn files, as I've said before, from the other players to continue. But at this point, I do believe Arcocephaly has fallen. It looks like Marinon, though, is sieging Agartha's capital. He's got 266 units there. Let's take a quick look at this, because he took a lot of casualties. Wow, the earthquake. Right out of the gates. Uh, so he's got... Wow, he took a lot of damage from that. What about this guy? This is the god, I, I assume. You guff the Harbinger. No, I don't think that is. Lantern Shield. Never even heard of this. Corpse Candle. Fear 5, Magic Command 1. Huh. Wow. Invulnerable and awe. That is not a god, right? No, it's not. This is awe 5. Invulnerable 20. Holy crap. I think that is a Marinon specific spell. Whoa! God almighty! Did you see that volley of crossbows? Oh my god. Show me another one. Wow. I wasn't expecting to watch this, but... I did want to see what a uh, Marinon's fielding here. Wow. Boatload of fireballs. I want to see that volley again. That was sexy. Wow. Look at all the fireballs. Damn. The fire pelotas. Uh, Greybeard Pierce, before he brings that other army on top of you, even if you don't win, you have more of a chance. Uh, this didn't really go as planned. <laughs> yeah. Alright, guys, that's gonna do it. Uh, let's take a look at this army here. 22 magma children died somehow. Huh. Alright, that's gonna do it, guys. Thanks for watching.
I'll catch you in the next one. All right, really quick, I had to come back and figure out why Lanthalus died in this battle. So as it turns out, the only thing left on the battlefield was this wyvern, which has a cripple, and this shard guard, which is also crippled, has a limp, and it's weakened. And he's just sitting there, Lanthalus just casting these uh, phantasmal wolves out, one after the other. And they're, they're running. And as you see here, Arcocephaly routes. So even though there was not a single threat to Lanthalus, he routed. <laughs> he routes while the enemy is already routing. And because he himself is not crippled, he moves a lot faster, apparently. Okay. And he gets off the map. So there goes Agartha. They're still routing. I'm off the map. This is the lone survivor. This guy right here won the battle, as far as I'm concerned. And that is why Lanthalus died. <laughs> I, I just, I had to go back and look. I couldn't believe it. Uh, anyway, just had to show that off, guys.